So um, at the end, uh, we got on the internet, I think it was around the end of 1992 when we moved into the town East Tower uh, in Mesquite, Texas. Uh, before that, we were in an apartment. And uh, so we moved into an actual building, um, and then we actually got an internet connection in that building. Before then, it was just a modem, and we would just call up. So we were, we were not really online that much. And um, in uh, 92 and in 93, while making Doom, we, were, we had an internet connection, we were doing email, and we were checking uh, Usenet. And uh, on the Usenet at that time, they had the top 100 games every week posted. And so we got, to, we basically were, every week we would see this list and we're like, we're getting, you know, look at where Wolfenstein's at, look at where Keen's at, and oh my god, missed, you know? And so um, we were competitive even in just trying to get a high ranked game. Um, but uh, at, that, at the time, we, uh, we were so focused on making the games that we weren't really out there scouring around for um, looking, just looking to see what people would do. We would just kind of see in magazines stuff that's printed and go, oh wow, that's cool, people are doing that. But as far as I can recall, we never ran any of the Wolfenstein mods at work because we were making the game constantly. Um, when Doom came out and, uh, and then the mods came out, we did run levels and mods for Doom, but before then, we didn't run anything. Uh, we didn't run any mods for, for Wolfenstein. Um, yeah, we, we, we worked really hard for a lot of hours. Um, Doom took us a year. Wolfenstein only took six months. Um, and, uh, and Keen took three months, so it was a <laughs> we were just like doubling our, our times. Um, but yeah, we didn't we didn't spend time really cruising the internet and looking for stuff. We were just working really hard to try and um, to try and uh, I guess get beyond what we were doing. It was it was difficult in making Doom to get beyond Wolfenstein because we were used to those ninety degree walls and the fixed heights and the full bright uh, brightness of the of the world. And so when we um, but the, it added capability into Doom to, to having darkness and floor heights and textured floors and ceilings and lights with you know strobe lights and flashing and moving stairs and just everything in there. Um, it was hard to take advantage of that because we were so used to making Wolfenstein levels. We, we made like 60 of them. And, um, and then we did Spear of Destiny, which is another 20. So we made, made like just Tom and I 80 levels of all these 90 degree things, and so the first Doom levels that we made were all these 90 degree things with fixed heights and really bright, you know, the sector the sector light values were all the same. And so, you know, it was, um, it took us months to try and figure out what is gonna be the new way that we design this game. And we were still also trying to, you know, formulate, like, design directives to push us further, and so, um, so with Doom, uh, at one point, uh, I came up with the uh, what I call the abstract design, uh, level design style, which is just, I'm not gonna make anything that looks realistic. I'm just gonna make something that looks really cool and looks cool and feels cool to move around in, and um, and then play around with that, you know, you know, play around with the scale of the, the, the size of the rooms and the hallways, um, coming up with the idea of contrasting gameplay, contrasting visibility, like the, the darkness and the lightness of rooms, the hugeness of outdoors, and the smallness of corridors, and throw contrast through the entire game. So it kind of felt like a roller coaster where people were in a level. Um, places, you know, areas of suspense where there wouldn't be fighting, but then there's a crazy amount of fighting. Um, and that was just my design style because other people had different design styles. So Sandy Peterson's was a very, you know, constant trickle of comment through the whole game. Um, but, you know, it was, it was, uh, coming up with the rules, and one of the important rules was uh, when you look at a room in Doom, you can, you, you, we can't uh, have ever been able to make that in Wolfenstein, even with mods and stuff. You just could not make a room that you could go, that could, that could be in Wolfenstein, we're not going forward. So, it, it, so in, in keeping with that same idea when we were making Quake, we also basically said, you can't look at a room in Quake and make, and make that in Doom. That, you know, so look up, make cool stuff on the ceiling. Makes up this 3D, you know, um, and so that really pushed us to looking at everything that we were making, and, and, and so we did. We spent a lot of time on just the craft and the invention of, of uh, a new a new thing that we hadn't seen before, and it took up all our time. So we were not on the internet doing things. Mm -hmm. we were, it was it was we were on the internet, I guess, um, just checking out the the uh, top 100 and email. That's about it. Not even really, there weren't that many web pages back then. That was in the age of like web crawler, the, the browser, you know, the, the 
search engine way before you know all the Vista 